Hi, I'm Jess Cannell and I blog at JessCannell.com and I wanted to talk through what postpartum has been like for me this time um, and how I'm doing things a little bit differently than I've done in the past and maybe cast a vision for how it could be for you. Um, I had some really hard postpartum times, especially my first one. Um, was crazy difficult. I had um, mastitis for an entire month. Uh, it took me a while to even realize that's what was going on and by the time I did it was very very bad. Um, I had bleeding and cracked nipples. Um, it, every time I he would latch on uh, I would cry. It was just horrible. Um, he was in the NICU for a week which contributed because I pumped for a week. It was my very first time to breastfeed or anything. And so then as time went on, it just got worse. Um, but that was a hard time. And um, it was hard for my body. He was huge. He was nine pounds, two ounces, still one of my biggest babies. Um, and so anyway, um, but this time... We're having a pretty mellow postpartum time, and I'm loving it. Um, one of the reasons is because I have older kids, and I guess I do want to cast a little bit of a vision for that for younger moms that it doesn't always stay hard. Um, like now, my um, six-year-old is unloading the dishwasher, and um, the baby is over in a we got one of these cool gates if you look over there hey there he is um and um so we're just having a really relaxed postpartum time and i'm loving it it's really nice and relaxing and i'm able to get more rest i take a nap with the three-year-old most afternoons and um i'm not trying to do a bunch of stuff like you may have seen that there's um, pillows out and toys and I've got my coffee there. Um, things aren't like my jacket's still there from from last night and some somebody's little gloves and red gloves. Um, but I'm just not worried about that. I, at this point, I've learned that postpartum season um, doesn't last forever. And it really is more important that I sit here and rest then that um, the jacket gets put away and the gloves and just in case somebody comes or I just want to make the pillows look nice or, you know, I, I'm not going to clean up these cars. Someone else who made the mess, probably Theo, my three-year-old, will clean that up. And I don't have to have the house look perfect today. Um, we're eating really easy meals. I, I bought some meals um, in advance. And like today's lunch, I think is going to be, um, I got these bear country, um, they're kind of like camping food almost. It's dried, um, gumbo. And so it's rice and different things with seasoning and then stir in some canned chicken. So it's super easy. In fact, I might have my wonderful eight year old here make it cause he likes to cook. Don't you? Yeah. Um, so he might make it, or I might, um, but it'll be really easy and take hardly any time at all. Um, and so I, I, I'm making things as easy as I can on myself because this is a time when moms need to work to make it easy on themselves. Um, and I think that's um, something that I had to learn. In fact, I've got an article I wrote about that, so I'll share that in the comments. But you can make postpartum life easier on yourself or harder on yourself. And some of the ways we make it easy is paper plates, um, going to bed earlier. It's tempting to want to stay up later because the day has been full and you want to be with your husband later and all that. But once the baby is out at that, usually around 10 o'clock time, um, and we're night owls, so usually we might stay up until 12 or 1, um, but um, but that 10 o'clock feeding, 
um, once the baby is out, then we go to bed immediately. And, um, and then I also try to make, take advantage of naps with my three-year-old. We do easier meals. Um, our church brings meals, which is wonderful. That's a new thing that, um, or that's a thing that's still ongoing for a few more days. We have that coming. Um, yesterday I went to church for the first time and he's, that was, he was 11 days old. So I went to church for the first time, but I just went and I sat. I'm, my husband's a pastor, so there could be a lot of, um, feeling like I need to talk to people or make myself available, but I went, I sat, I listened, and then at the end of the service, we got up and we left and I didn't stay or, um, visit or anything. And so... Doing a lot of sitting and resting is really the best way, I think, to heal from postpartum time is just make yourself sit and rest more than you feel like you need to, and you'll heal quicker than you knew. So that's my, that's what postpartum is going like for me this time, and um, he's doing great, and I'm doing great, and it's been a great recovery this time from baby number eight, so... Have a good day. Come see me at JessCannell.com and at MomOnPurpose.com. Bye.